Do you know what I feel like does not get enough attention? Sandwiches. If you're a Friends fan, you know that sandwiches was Joey's favorite food. Yeah, hero sandwiches. <laughs> and while I love a good sandwich, a lot of times we get in a habit of just making a very simple bologna and cheese or ham and cheese, and we don't think outside of the box. We're gonna think outside the box today. Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today's sandwich inspiration is from this right here. Homemade hot honey mustard. I didn't want this to go to waste. I'm gonna incorporate it into a sandwich. We are making turkey and bacon melts. First things first, we need to fry up some bacon. I'm not gonna do this entire pack and I'm just gonna do it here on the stovetop just because I'm gonna be using my griddle for our melts. I'm just making two sandwiches, so I just went with three pieces of bacon and then I just cut them in half. It's just me and Cole here today for lunch, so I'm just making two. Don't worry, this is not plugged up yet. Um, we're gonna get started by putting some butter on the outside of each piece of bread. So I'm gonna put it butter side down because on the inside we're gonna do the honey mustard. Now I've got this hot honey mustard. Um, this recipe is super simple. I did a holiday party food video where I did some pimento cheese pigs in a blanket and I made this. So it's equal parts mayo and Dijon mustard and then under half of that amount. So if you did three tablespoons of each of the other, you do about one tablespoon of the hot honey. So that's what I made because I made pigs in a blanket. Today's Tuesday. I made it on Sunday again for our small group. So I'm going to spread this on the inside. I need to go flip my bacon so I'll be right back. Can we can we flip? No, we're just gonna curl up. Cool, cool. All right, I'm gonna do some deli turkey. Is it good? Hmm. So where's the rest? Okay, our turkey or our bacon is done. So I'm gonna put three slices on each sandwich. And then we're gonna top that with our cheese. I'm using, is it New York? sharp cheddar there we go so let's plug this in there we go and we're gonna start heating it up and pop the tops on these okay we're gonna let this heat up and i'll catch you back in just a second there's no sizzling happening happening oh oh she was ready mm -mm -mm. okay so now we're on the other side where the cheese is so i definitely want to give the cheese a little bit of time to melt through we're doing a little extra crispy today okay okay it did not need as long on the other side for sure that's hot. Oh man, I can see that honey mustard in there too. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. So I have a good report from Cole. He's not in here to show you, but he did a little happy dance when he took a bite. So to get a happy dance from him, that's pretty good. I also have some more honey mustard here if I feel like I need to dip it in there. Let's go in. That hot honey mustard just makes it. <sighs> the flavor of that is so good. The cheese is a sharp cheese, so it's got a tang to it. And of course, bacon and turkey, you can't go wrong. But but I think I'm gonna put more honey mustard on the next bite, just because when I say I'm addicted to this hot honey mustard, I'm not kidding. So, cheers. I think all of those flavors together are phenomenal. Make you a turkey bacon melt with hot honey mustard. You'll be glad you did. If you notice yourself checking ingredients at the grocery store and you're almost always disappointed in a lot of those ingredients. So you're looking for better alternatives and more organic alternatives, then Thrive Market is exactly where you need to be shopping. It is an online membership-based grocery store on a mission to make healthy living easy and affordable for everyone. So save yourself a trip to the store and do shopping for better for you products online. Speaking of better for you, Thrive Market does all the heavy lifting for you. They're checking the labels and there are over 800 ingredients banned from snacks, beverages, and more. So you can shop from thousands of the best-selling organic foods and natural products below retail prices. And good news, if you find a lower price elsewhere, they'll match it. Oh, that smells good. On this order alone, I saved almost $40. So I mentioned that it is a membership based, so you can either be a member month to month for $12 a month, or you can do the annual membership build one time a year at $59.95 
that means it comes out to $5 a month. If at the end of the year you have not saved that $60, they will credit you the difference. It's really easy to navigate their website. You can filter their products based off of diet and lifestyle. It's so easy, it ships right to your door. And I've got some good news for you. If you join Thrive Market today by going to thrivemarket.com slash Mandy in the making, you're gonna get 30% off of your first order, plus you're gonna get a free gift worth up to $60. So a big thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel for several years now. Okay, let's get back to cooking. This particular recipe is a recipe for French dip sandwiches and we're gonna cook the French dips in the crock pot all day, shred it up, put it on hoagie rolls for dinner tonight and we'll have the au jus to dip it in. Y'all, it's gonna be good. Okay, this is a very, very simple recipe. I just have our chuck roast here in the crock pot, but this is a little under three pounds. We're also gonna add in a can of French onion soup as well as a can of beef consomme. Now, if you've been around for a while, you know I love using these two things with rice to make my mom's brown rice. Before we throw that in, I'm gonna add just a little bit of onion powder as well as some black pepper. I know you can hear some loud noises in the background. I do apologize. We are having some things done here at the house and I have to film this, but they have to work. So next we're gonna throw in three jalapenos. I am not slicing these. She said you can slice them to make it spicier, but I'm gonna wait and slice these at the end of the day and we can add them to our sandwiches. We're gonna be adding in one bottle of beer. You can just use whatever bottle or can that you want. I have this fat tire. And we're gonna be adding in a fourth a cup of this. This is the Dale's steak seasoning. We just need a fourth a cup of that. So now we're just gonna pop the lid on and you're gonna cook it on low for six to eight hours. I'm starting mine a little bit later in the day, so I'm gonna do it on high for just a little bit before I switch it over to low. Okay, I've got these carrots that I need to use up. So I'm going to peel these and chop these and we're gonna make some glazed carrots. Ma'am, can I help you? Are you? You're standing on my foot, honey. Yeah, thanks. There's a piece of carrot on the floor next to you. See, so yeah, it's not cheese. I'm out. Okay, I'm just gonna add all of my carrots to this large skillet. And we'll add some water here and just bring it up to a simmer and let them hang out in that water and simmer for about 10 minutes. That'll get them nice and soft. I'm adding about two cups of water. That should be plenty. I'm gonna pop the lid on this just so it will come up to temperature quicker. This has come up to a simmer. I am gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. And then at the end of that 10 minutes, we will drain off the rest of the water. Tonight, we are gonna be serving our French dips on these hoagie rolls. I probably should have warmed this butter a little bit. I've got my provolone cheese here. There we go, just on one side. Or do you want it on both sides? Steven said, I don't care. I'm gonna go with both sides because I love cheese. Okay, these are definitely soft enough. I've put my little strainer here on the side. We are just going to drain out the hot water, the excess water. There's not a whole lot of water left. Man overboard. I drained off all that water. I'm gonna add in about a half a stick of butter. I think this is about three tablespoons and let that melt down. Okay, our butter is almost melted. We're gonna add in about a fourth a cup of brown sugar. And I'm also gonna throw in some salt. And we're gonna let these hang out on about medium heat for four or five minutes. And then these will be done. Okay, I'm gonna pop these under the broiler for just a couple of minutes. And let's shred our French dips. I'm also gonna grab out these jalapenos. And we can slice those up and put them on our sandwiches. So I went ahead and shredded all of our meat. Steven ladled some of the sauce out for us for dipping. I'm gonna throw the meat back in here just so it gets good and juicy. I also just about burnt, or kinda did burn, our uh, hoagie buns, but Steven saved the day on that one. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I think that's the one I'm gonna put it on. Is that the top? I don't guess it really matters, babe. We'll slide it over there <laughs> There like you that. go. Look at that, dropping it on the floor. That's how we roll. Casualty. One got away. 10 second roll, you better pick it up. No, no. Oh, and then here. he sliced up these jalapenos for his. I think I might do that on mine too because that's good stuff right there. Man, look at that. And then watch this right here. Boom. Oh, and man. then you have some sauce over there, right? Uh, yeah, let me show you what I'm working with. <laughs> 
bad boy. Let's go to the table. Yep. Really bold flavors in the sauce that we're using. Classic French dip or different? Like a spam. It's like a spin on it? Spin on it, yeah. Okay. With the, the jalapenos in there like that? Yeah. Man, that is a nice touch. Really okay. good. Great roast. Yeah. You know, flavors in there. I think the jalapenos, we've had kind of something like that before. Right. You gotta try the carrots too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are the carrots good? That is really good. <laughs> buttery? Yeah. Really buttery. Got a little sweetness to them as well. Good. Well, Whitney, we are enjoying this so much. It is so tender and juicy, and this au jus is just right on point. And y'all, these carrots are so buttery and sugary and delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is that? Mm. Sounds like an ogre over there. A meal like this makes you feel like an ogre. Okay. Because it's good and messy. That's right. If it ain't messy, it's not going to be good. That's right. For our second sandwich, we're going to do an Italian style sandwich. I made pesto a while back. I'll try and find that video and link it below. But I had leftover pesto and I froze it. And all I did was thaw it out and we're going to put this on the sandwich. I froze it in little ice cube trays. So this was one little ice cube and it's perfect for one sandwich. So we're going to start with a layer of pesto on the bottom. Now let's add our meats. I've got some pastrami here, some pepperoni, some hard salami, and some provolone cheese. Now some lettuce, tomato, Another thing you could add on, and we actually have some, but I decided to just leave it off, but roasted red peppers would be really good on this. So let's put the top on and cut this in half. It looks so good. You could always mm. use store-bought jarred pesto, not a problem, but we had this on hand, so. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow, we gotta talk about that. Okay. The pastrami with the pesto? Mm hmm I mean, like, that's like... Over the top. That's like out of this world it's good. It's really good. Now we have a use for all of those little things of pesto, babe. Yeah. That's going to go on our sandwiches every day. Yeah, you don't need anything else with that. No. That pesto is... That was the thing I was asking mm. Stephen off camera. I was like, do we put mayo on here too? Do we put anything else on here? And I said, no, I think the pesto is going to be strong enough. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but... You don't There's so it. much flavor. That's a good sandwich. Mm -hmm. Now this recipe is not really a recipe. It's a, uh, Mandy's kind of making it up as she goes. I found this Italian bread, which is kind of thick sliced at our grocery store. And so I thought we could do warm muffaletta sandwiches, but with a lot of cheese on them, melt the cheese, almost do it like a grilled cheese. Is it New Orleans that is famous for the muffaletta sandwiches? If you're from there and you're watching me, you may want to click out because I might upset you because I'm not doing a true muffaletta sandwich. We're going to do Mandy's version. You could definitely do these um, on the stovetop, but just so that I do them all three at the same time, because one for me, one for Steven, one for Cole, I'm going to do them on my griddle. I love my griddle. I have this griddle. It is the Dash brand. I have it linked in my Amazon store. I got it several years ago and I use it all the time, especially for making bacon and pancakes. I've got enough for three sandwiches here. We are gonna butter one side of each piece of bread. So let me do that first, I'll be right back. One side is buttered. I'm gonna put it buttered side down. And it'll just be, it'll just have to be okay. Um, just so that we can load these sandwiches up. Steven requested mayonnaise on his. So, like I said, this is a loose translation. We're just using the muffaletta olive um, salad or olive relish, really. That's, this is not really a muffaletta. This is a yummy sandwich that Mandy's making. <laughs> do we need mayonnaise on both sides? I mean, I'll do a light mayo on the other side. What do you think? I'm gonna open this up. Steven's already popped the top and smelled it. <laughs> he sniffs everything. Every food, every everything, he has to sniff it. I don't. It's just his thing. So, here it is. We're gonna let, 
I'm not gonna completely drain it because I have a feeling the juice is a good thing. But I, I don't want it to get too soggy either. Oh, I need to be heating up my, my griddle. Let's do that. Now we're gonna load it up with some ham and salami. And I also have some extra pepperoni, so why not? This is three different types of salami. I just found this in the um, near the deli at my grocery store. Now, cheese. We have a little bit of this Italian cheese left, so I'm gonna sprinkle that on there. I've got some Monterey Jack if I need to shred that too. I don't think I need the Monterey Jack cheese. We're just gonna go with the Italian because that was plenty. All right, so now we just need to flip this over and we're ready to go to the griddle. I'm just gonna spray the griddle. Even though I've got butter on these, I'm gonna spray it in each spot for each sandwich. You know what? I'm gonna throw a little garlic powder on top. Just a little bit, not a lot. Just for a little something extra, you know? Okay, I test flipped the first one and it went okay. <laughs> Let's flip the second one. You just gotta be, you gotta be quick. There we go. Let's let these hang out on this side for a little bit. Make sure all of that cheese melts. Cole just tried it and he said, Mm. Is this mine? No. <laughs> yes. It's, it's mine. mine. <laughs> that looks good. You ready? I'm hungry. Are I'm you? Just checking here. Oh yeah. Got the good stuff. I put mayonnaise in there too because I know you wanted that. Oh, we didn't tink. Mmm. <laughs> tink. Man. Did I do good? Wow. I might like this better than the Jason's Deli one. Stop it. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Cole, what do you think about that? I probably have to agree. Cole agrees. Mm. I did so good. I'm not the biggest fan of the bread. I mean, not of this bread, yes, but oh. Jason Deli bread, I'm not the biggest fan of the Jason Deli bread, but it's good. I like the crunchiness of it, but this has got the crunchiness and then that buttery flavor. But the, the layers of flavor here, starting with the bread, crunchy, buttery, then the mayonnaise gets into that mm -hmm. olive. Oh, and then it just goes perfectly with that, mm -hmm. uh, with that meat that's in there, the pepperoni, a little bit of spice. And then there's some Italian cheeses in there too. Mm. I mean, that's one of the best sandwiches I've ever eaten. I have a feeling we're gonna be making this pretty often. It was so easy, babe. You ain't got no more, have you? Mm -mm. <laughs> Just a quick reminder that if you want to check out Thrive Market, you can go to thrivemarket.com slash Mandy in the making. And when you join today, you're going to save 30% off of your first order. Plus, you're going to get a free gift worth up to $60. Now, y'all go enjoy a sandwich. <laughs> Bye, y'all.